Begin recording in 3, 2, hello everyone and welcome to Sharpness Gaming and today we're back with some more Pokemon VGC 2018. Hey, this is New Year, New Team. We're here with a stack attack team. Finally, I've been, I've been, uh, freaking raving <laughs> about stack attack. Uh, I love stack attack, a favorite Ultra Beast by far. If you guys haven't seen Stack Attack on the Pokemon Refresh, you need to check it out. I'm going to try and... My tortoise is going nuts right now. <laughs> I'm going to try and um, insert the clip of him. It's it's the cutest thing you'll see in your entire life. But uh, we have a kind of strange team today with Stack Attack, uh, Hitmontop, Oranguru, and Torkoal being very Trick Room-esque. But we do also have Mega Venusaur, uh, which works as a Trick Room Pokemon and a Sun Pokemon as well uh, for speed, and the Tapu Fini is kind of in the middle. The Tapu Fini is actually the same one from the Kamo'o team. I just put a uh, freaking Heal Pulse on it over Icy Wind. Um, I tried recording this video for Monday, and then my computer decided to have a hissy fit again because, you know, Windows is trying to update again. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, the the amazing battle that I had, rec uh, that I was recording, um, we didn't get it live. I do have it saved, so I'm going to upload it to at another date, because it was a really, really good battle um, from both sides of the field. But yeah, let's just hop into it. Uh, if you guys are excited for New Year, New Team, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already. And also let me know what you think of the team down in the comment section below. But to further get acquainted with the team, um, you can use this team on both the uh, on Pokemon Showdown with the paste bin in the description below. And we also I'll also have the QR code. Currently, I don't have a life orb in this game. I don't know why I thought I did. Uh, but Stack Attack is supposed to have a life orb. So once I get a life orb for Stack Attack, I'll make a QR code. You guys can use it. So check the description to see if it's already there. Alright guys, so um, my computer decided to have a hiccup. Not a full out hissy fit this time, just a hiccup where the screen went dead and then uh, then it came back and everything was white. Um, everything was still recording from what I can tell, so hopefully the intro is still there. But our first battle did get uh, messed up, so I'm just going to erase it. Especially because I played like crab cakes. It was terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to start off today at 1559 instead. How about that? How about that? We went up against the rain team. Um, we were attempting to pull it out there, but my opponent, but I, I, uh, I didn't do some calcs right. I guess so. Fifteen hundred. I like no. It's not that I didn't do calcs right. It's that I thought I did calcs that I never actually did. So, for those of you who want to know, Oren Guru currently does not live a black hole eclipse from my dragon. I might change that. Um. Because the whole point of the Orange Guru was to live, or to was to be immune to the Z moves from the Aegis Slashes, but there's also those high dragons. And when I was building the team, I thought about that, but then I didn't do it. I didn't capitalize on it, so I don't know. Um, also, if you guys want to see a team builder for this, let me know in the comment section below. In my original recording, I did a whole thing on the team, but now I had it. All right, so Kangas got on top of Fini, Heatran, Alandris, Cresselia, and. Ferrothorn, this is new chalk with Ferrothorn. My Torkoal counters that Ferrothorn. We also have Earth Power for Heatrans on this Torkoal, so we can deal with that. We won't get walled by that. Stack Attack isn't awful, but it's also not the best. Venusaur walls Peeny, which is really cool. I think we need to bring our own Feeny over Stack Attack, I guess, because we could go Oranguru. Or we could, go, we could bring him on top. There's just so many things we could bring, man. Man, there's just so many things we could bring. But I think we do need the Oranguru for sure. Uh, Feeny, Venusaur, and Torkoal. Ooh, I was getting close. I was getting close. I don't like not having my fake out support for my <clears throat> Trick Room Setter. But sometimes you just have to make it work. Because we needed the other three Pokemon more than we needed the Hitmon on top. Because if we didn't have Venusaur, we had nothing for the Feeny. If we didn't have Feeny, the Heatran, and the uh, Landris could really run us over. And then if we didn't have Torkoal, we probably would have been fine without Torkoal. <laughs> but uh, Feeny Oranguru versus v Feeny Kangaskhan. Um, I am. Okay, so I did make sure that I could live. I think it was 3 hit guaranteed KO with the double edge from Kangaskhan. So we should live the double hit that's going to be happening here. We can get, take fake outs. We can take 
taunts. We can take it all. So I'm going to trick room for sure. And then I'll just muddy water, I think, with the peen. Just to get some accuracy drops, and then we'll uh, start to moon blast from there. We do see the Mega Kangaskhan come out. It probably just fakes out my Feeny, because if they know anything about Oranguru, it most likely is going to be running Inner Focus, which I am. Which I am. We're just going to see a straight-up double edge from the Kangaskhan into Feeny. Unfortunately, not procking my stupid berry, because I put too much defense in it. I, I didn't put any defense in this Feeny. Is this choice specs? I got choice specs from Warren Guru. You have mental herb. I have muddy water. I'm just going to switch out my own Guru, I guess. I don't know what you want from me, man. Accuracy drops. Critical aid on the Fiend. Accuracy drop on the Kang is gone. That's what I really needed on. Feeny also gets one, which is helpful. We just need those to actually come into play. We're going to get the Trick Room off with the Orange Guru. Unfortunately, we are now specced in the Trick Room, so I do need to switch. I'm going to bring out Torkoal, because Torkoal is going to be helping us the most here. Uh, it's going to be able to take... Double Edge is the best from the Kangaskhan, and then we'll also have the Sun up to stop from getting hit by Muddy Water. I assume we're not going to use... Uh, my opponent won't go for Muddy Water here. And unfortunately, this Torkoal doesn't have Solar Beam. I used to run like Grassinium Z Solar Beam Torkoal, but not anymore. I have Earth Power for Heatrans, and then the Double Fire move. Because I'm not a fan of relying on Eruption. Eruption is super strong. It's a super good move to use. But once you start losing HP, it kind of sucks. Ooh, we get the special attack drop on the Peeny too. We're just getting all the hacks with our Peeny. We're going to see Moon Blast. Go into Torko. We're going to be able to eat that. Don't get a special attack drop. Thank you. Double Edge from the Kangaskhan. Both Pokemon are going to hit their moves. It's going to hit in a Feeny, which will KO me, unfortunately. So now if my opponent does have that... Um... that Pokemon, <laughs> the Landers or the uh, Heatran, we're going to be in trouble, especially because the Heatran probably carries a, uh, uh, Earth Power itself, but what I can just do here is Eruption and Slud, Mega Evolve Sludge Bomb, the Tapu Fini. It won't one hit KO. The Fini, Fini actually switches out probably for Heatran. That's fine. As long as we get the Heatran out here, uh, we can, before Trick Room's up, we can Earth Power it, which is what the big, big thing is. Um, Kangaskhan could go for Sucker Punch on the Torkoal. It actually protects. So I was about to go for my Z move there, but that's fine. Eruption's just going to flash fire boost the Heatran. That's fine. That's also fine, man. But Sludge Bomb and Heatran's not going to do anything. And then I Earth Power the Heatran. Hopefully he doesn't see it coming. Then I'll Sludge Bomb Kangaskhan here. Hmm. My opponent probably doesn't switch Kangaskhan. Just because he saw me use Sludge Bomb and he knows I'm not going to attack Heatran. If anything, I'll protect or switch. So maybe he does go into the Feeny with the King of Sun. That'd be awesome. Oh, okay, it's Ferrothorn. Not what I wanted to see, but Torkoal can deal with that too. We do see Shucka Bear and Heatran, which is what I was kind of worried about. Does no damage. My poor Venusaur is getting walled. Venusaur is supposed to be the one doing the Wally, not getting walled, man. God, that Heat Wave does so much damage because we boosted it. And it's in the sun. And this is the last turn of Trick Room. We just lose this one now. So my opponent just double protects here, so Torkoal can't get off when it needs to. I'm going to switch out Oranguru. Oranguru. Er, er, er. I'll go for Leech Seed onto the Heatran, just in case for some reason it doesn't protect. But 100% of the time it does, because it knows Torkoal has Earth Power. And it's the safest play. Heatran protects. Ferrothorn might not have. So we probably could have KO'd the Ferrothorn here. Yeah, I went for Iron Head. But into the Oranguru.
But I think, uh, yeah. I mean, we just lose still. Unless the Heatran misses its Heat Wave for some reason. And we're so low on health, and my po my opponent still has four Pokemon. I'll attempt the Leech Seed in case he misses the Venusaur. Heat Wave double miss. Damn it, double hit. Man, even that's enough to KO Oranguru with the boosts. I really should have went for a flamethrower on a Kangaskhan, I think was my... I, I mean, in, in the end, I don't think it really mattered. I almost Z-moved the Kangaskhan, actually, which would have been the best play there, because we could have got a little more damage off on it. And Torkoal could have stayed in and flamethrower the Ferrothorn. I don't know the speed stat between the two of them. I know it's really close, but I think Ferrothorn might be slower. Just because, look at it, it's got its thorns in the ground, for God's sake. Well, Earth Power the Heatran, see if we can get some misses going. I mean, Ferrothorn can't miss with Iron Head. And Heatran also carries Earth Power. So unfortunate, but what can you do? I have been on a very terrible losing streak with this team. I mean, to be fair, I didn't. I haven't practiced with this team at all, so I'm still getting a hold of it. I, I really want Oranguru to be good. I just don't think it has the bulk to deal with, like, Heatran and Kangaskhan and... Z-Move High Dragon, and, uh, who else? Everybody else. <laughs> Landorus. I just don't even think it has that bulk that Cresselia has, which is really unfortunate, because I think Oranguru is just so good, man. I just love him so much in last season of EDC, and now look at him. Now look at him, dropping us a 1540, but we're going to continue to try and see if we can get him to work. We have two more battles for this video, and 1523 Zeno will be our second opponent and hopefully our first victory with this team on screen because my computer keeps having hissy fits. We have Latios. I've been seeing a lot of Latios lately. Latios, Hitmontop, Tyranitar, Heatran, Tapu Bulu, and Rotom Wash. Very interesting team. Latios, I think, gets Trick Room. Because I was going to say, it's a Trick Room-esque team. It's not super hard Trick Room, but it has the option to, so Latios might have that. I'm not 100% on that, though. But I think Himotop is a really good Pokemon to have here. As well as Oranguru. Yeah, Stack Attack, it's just, it's just his weaknesses make him so hard to use sometimes. But I think we bring him. I think we do it. I'm just trying to look and see. Because Feeny could be useful here. And Venusaur. I think instead of Warren Guru, this time we're going to go Stack Attacker. The Stacked Attacker. Because Stack Attacker also has Trick Room. Which is kind of nice. Because he can set it up for himself. Instead of having to rely on Warren Guru to do it. I don't know. Him on top's nice because it's got yeah, close combat for the Heatran and the Tyranitar. We have Faint to stop protectors. We have Wide Guard to protect Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Fake out. <laughs> the usual. I prefer Scrafty to Hitmon on top, personally. But I wanted to try out him on top. I've been hearing some bad things about him on top. Like, he's ugly and stuff, so... We gotta, we gotta show him that he's still beautiful. All Pokemon are beautiful. So we see Tyran <laughs> we see Tyranitar and Latios. I have to roll my own eyes at that one. So Tyranitar could have low kick. We do have the intimidate, so hopefully Stack Attack I can live that. I can live that ish. I'm just trying to decide because I think I think we're fine against Latios, honestly. I'm just gonna fake out the Tyranitar and set up the trick room here. I'm going to Z-Trick Room, right? I don't have Torkoal with me. I better check that. Because Torkoal's Z-Move is more useful. Okay, we don't have Torkoal, so we might as well Z-Trick Room here. It increases our accuracy for when we want to use Rock Side. But again, this stack attack is not supposed to have Z-Trick Room. It's okay, Latios switches, so even better. For him on top of his own, so it gets that Intimidate as well as uh, Close Combats for the stack attack. So we're definitely switching out our stack attack at this next turn. And Tyranitar also switches out for Rotom Wash. So he just hates the Stack Attacker, man. I definitely switched Stack Attacker for Venusaur. That's the nice thing about pairing Mega Venusaur and Stack Attacker is that their, um, their uh, resistances work so well together. 
I'm wasting my Z move here, essentially. I mean, we didn't have another one, so it really doesn't matter to me. I mean, my opponent probably feels safer now. But yeah, I definitely would like Life Orb on this attack attack because we, we miss out on some KOs that we shouldn't be missing out on. Everybody except for stack attack will be taking that sandstorm damage. I do get leftovers with my him on top. I, mean, I really don't need to keep him on top around, to be honest. On the field, that is. So the question is, do we think we get... I think we can switch. We can do a double switch, too, here. Everybody be double switching up in here. But whereas my opponent brought in two super offensive threats to my stack attacker uh, that don't necessarily have uh, resistances to it. I mean, the Rotom resists uh, Gyro Ball, and the him on top resists Rock Slide, but both of them don't resist both my moves. Uh, my Venusaur resists everything the him on top and the Rotom want to do, and then my Feeny resists one stab from Rotom and then whatever the him on top wants to do, so... We do get the Misty Surge up, so the, if the if the uh, Ronan decided to go for some kind of Will-O-Wisp, he then that's not happening. We're going to see Fake Out Hydro Pump, though. I was assuming he was going to double into the stack attack. I thought he'd actually go for some sort of... Some sort of... Uh, close Combat instead, just, du just double attack it, but he decided to go for what he just did. Uh, so I'm going to heal pulse my own Venusaur. Well, Mega Evolve Venusaur here. And I really think the Rotom switches into Latios. So I'm going to Sludge Bomb the Rotom. Because it still is going to do damage to Rotom. And if, if Latios comes in, it's that does the most damage to Latios. So. I mean, Latios doesn't really want to come in just because I still have Tapu Fini out here. So I guess I could have Giga Drained and just Moon Blasted the Hitmon top. Rotom does switch out for the Latios. Called it. I mean, as again, I don't. I still don't think that's a great switch because we're still under Trick Room and my Tapu Fini sitting here. And now that I'm Mega Venusaur, I'm so much bulkier, so I can take whatever that Hitmon top wants to do. It's going to be Detect. So perfect turn to uh, heal Pulse myself here. See how much Sludge Bomb does. We are uninvested, so I didn't expect too much, and it doesn't. I get to heal pulse my own Venusaur, so we're looking so much healthier. That's my first successful heal pulse, by the way. Okay, I want to check speeds between these two, because I think... Okay, the Feeny's 105, and the Venusaur's 101, so Venusaur is slower. I just don't know that the Moonblast KO is here. It should, right? Well, let's look at the special attack stats. 115 to 142. Oh, Venusaur has such a higher special attack. Like, I just don't trust that Feeny KO is Latios here. So I'm going to Moonblast. And I'll also Sludge Bomb, just to be safe. Hit him on top with draws, so Tyranitar? Yep. I don't know why he brought in Tyranitar here. Latios protects, okay. Kind of expected that to happen, but I couldn't let it get off a free attack. And we should still have Trick Room, because Sandstorm's still hitting. And I, I feel a lot better about our odds of Moonblast KOing now. So I'm just going to go for straight Moonblast. And we'll Giga Drain this Tyranitar. The only, th oh, the only thing we might be a little worried about here is Tyranitar flinching with Rock Slide. That would be bad. Because then we just lose our Venusaur. And Venusaur does so well against the rest of the team outside the Latios. So maybe protecting Venusaur would have been the play here. Just in case we do get flinched. I think I went a little fast on that one. We're going to see it. Oh, and it's Mega Latios. I think that gets a little bit of bulk. It might be able to live Moonblast. Because I don't have any investment in my special attack. Darkinium Z coming out from the Tyranitar. So, 
Feeney? It's not going for Feeney with that. That would be just be insane. Uh, Tarant uh, Tarantar. Venusaur should be able to live this. I hope. As long as it's Crunch. Black Hole Eclipse, we should, because we're max defense. Yeah, we live that. And we Giga Drain off it. So the Latios might not be attacking Venusaur then. Since he went for a, a Z move into it. Alright, Feeny, can you do the dirty? Yes. Thank you, Feeny. Latios goes down, and now Venusaur is looking so much healthier. Twisted Dimensions do return to normal, so we are faster than Tyranitar now, which is nice. Hitmon on top might come out here, but it really doesn't want to, I don't think. I think it would only come out for fake out support if it did. Yep. Yep, yep. And see the Intimidate, which is fine. I am going to protect my Venusaur here. And I'll just go for Muddy Water. I just don't want to get my Venusaur to be faked out and then Rock Slid on. Because, again, Venusaur just does so well here. Fake out into the Venusaur. Muddy Water comes out from Feeny because we have seen that the Tyranitar is, in fact, slower than both these Pokemon. No KOs. We're going to see Eject Button from the Hitmon on top. So the Rotom will be coming in here. Which I don't necessarily enjoy. Just because that really threatens my poor little peen. My poor little peen. We're going to see Crunch from the Tyranitar into the Venusaur. And the mist will now disappear from the battlefield. Now with Feeny, I just Moonblast the Tyranitar, KO it, guarantee KO, and then Giga Drain the Rotom. As long as it's not like Specs Rotom, or is, we've already seen the Z move. So as long as it's not Specs Rotom, Feeny should live a Thunderbolt. Tyranitar switches, which is why I didn't want to go for Giga Drain into that slot. Uh, Hit on top's going to be coming in and taking a Moonblast, so I'm. 100% okay with that. Because it just puts my opponent in the same position. If the Rotom were to go for Protect, but he's going to go for Thunderbolt. That's Specs. But I freaking lived it. And I'm paralyzed. So I do get to eat my berry, but there's the possibility of being paralyzed here. That's got to be Specs, because I'm max special defense. And I'm a Feeny. Moonblast will KO the Hitmon top. So no fake out support from there, and Venusaur is going to get a bunch of health back off this Giga Drain. Almost enough to KO. So yeah, that that really makes me think it's Specs because it doesn't look like it has a lot of investment to its special defenses. Tyranitar will come out here. Sandstream will activate, and. I mean, I don't, I don't need to bring in any other Pokemon here. I can just Moonblast at the Rotom and Giga Drain the Tyranitar. Because I don't need to worry about the Rotom. Yeah, it's Thunderbolting the hell out of my... F okay, he's going to Thunderbolt Venusaur there. Probably hoping for a Paralysis. But I just Giga Drain the Tyranitar to KO. I was going to say, I don't have to worry about the Rotom. Because, it, I mean, it did decent damage to that Venusaur. Which really solidifies that it's choice specs. Um, but yeah, and then... Feeny, unfortunately, does get paralyzed there. We see the Sandstorm damage ticking down that Rotom. So, unfortunately, Stack Attack, uh, I mean, Stack Attack, uh, that, that Trick Room was pretty good for us because we were able to KO that Latios before it was able to do anything, especially because it was Mega Latios. Uh, so, in that in that instance, Stack Attack was good. It didn't get off its Attack -a part of its Stack Attack, -a, but uh, Venusaur coming through there. Venusaur... Seems to be more clutch and stack attack in a lot of ways, which is fine because I love Mega Venusaur. I love both these Pokemon so much, so it works. It works that Mega Venusaur is pulling through. Um, I'm honestly surprised we don't see more Mega Venusaur, especially because Tapu Fini is honestly the only Tapu I've been seeing ever. Like, I rarely, like, I haven't seen, I don't play a ton, so I can't be like, oh, I know everything. I haven't had the. The opportunity to play a lot. Um, I wish I did. 
but I don't currently. It's, it's getting to that point where I'm going to be able to start playing a lot more again. But, like, I like I really... I don't see Tapu Finis when I'm playing. I don't see Tapu Lele's when I'm playing, or Tapu Cocos, or Bulu's. I did see one Bulu with the first battle with his demon. We just bodied it. But Tapu Lele is really the only Tapu that threatens Mega Venusaur. And in that instance, you stack Attacka. Like I was saying, the rest is, resistance is really... Um, What's the word? Complement each other. The only problem is like ground because Venusaur is neutral to it, which is unfortunate. But we have a Tokyo player. Okay, <laughs> um, it's a very interesting rain team with uh, the Lightning Rod, Pikachu, Floatzel, which I I wouldn't mind trying out Floatzel at some point. It does have Liquidation now, which is kind of cool. Uh, we do also see the Mega Blastoise, the Pelipper for rain, uh, Serena to stop. Um, priority moves and then the naga so my feeny really doesn't help us here Venusaur is actually pretty good mega venisar is pretty good i could go Venusaur torco lead torco i really don't shouldn't bring stack attack once again just because there's so much water so there's an ungodly amount of water I guess I could use him on top. We just have to worry about the um, Serena. Yeah, like I really want to bring Stack Attacker, but I just think it in this in this instance, mm, let's not. So Torkoal, I'm actually going to go with Torkoal Venusaur lead with Oranguru and him on top in the back. It's really weird to have my two sweepers out front. Well, Venusaur is not necessarily a sweeper. It's more of just a bulky, uh, slowly whittle them down kind of Pokemon. Which is my favorite play style to play in VGC is the bulky heavy hitters. But Like Lapras. I love Lapras. That bulky heavy hitting Lapras. So good. Alright, so we see Blastoise uh, Serena actually lead off for my opponent. So, fake out from the Blastoise. So Serena actually just really does not want to stay in here. Ba, 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 ba. So he could switch in Pelipper for Serena here, which is what I'm really expecting. So I'm going to switch my Torkoal out for Oranguru. And I'll just straight up Mega Ball my Venusaur here. He probably fakes out Venusaur, right? I mean, I'm going to attempt the Sludge Bomb onto the Serena slot, which would end up becoming a Pelipper, which is really why I think he fakes out with Blastoise into the Venusaur. Although the Venus or the Blastoise could just not be carrying fake out, but I really think it does. He does have Pikachu for that fake out support, so there's always Sorry to disturb you. <laughs> sorry. Sorry to ruin your day. I'm sorry. Wow. Okay, so we're definitely getting another battle. The instant forfeit for my opponent. You can tell it's a good team when uh, if the lead isn't right, you lose. <laughs> Might want to rework your team there, bud. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do one more match here. We also have to. Re I mean, I'm not saying that this is my opponent. They just m might just really not like that matchup. But uh, we do have a lot more newer players. Which I welcome. Fifty. Speaking of, fifteen hundred player from Nevada, United States. Uh, because post Christmas season, you're gonna be getting. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is. Uh, I'm. I'm a. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to like bash people's teams because you never know. They could have some really cool stuff. But Chansey's not cool. <laughs> I want to try Chansey, but not like the minimized nonsense Chansey. I want to be like have like Ice Beam Chansey and stuff. But we'll see. So, Metagross, the only possible Mega. Mandibuzz, Chansey, Politoed, Mamoswine, and Togedemaru for that fake out support. So Venusaur is uh, Venusaur is okay here, just because of the Mandibuzz and the Metagross. Stack attack, I tell me you're good here. Everything except the Politoed stack attack, I can actually deal with. I mean, in the Metagross, it doesn't have anything for unfortunately. Uh, we could go him on top stack attack. Or him on top, or in Guru for real on guarantee things. Give me. Do we need Peeny is the question. 
I don't think I, I think we can get away without Tapu Fini, so we could go with Stack Attack, Game on Top, Torical, or Anguru if we really wanted to. Although Leech Seed would be nice. Oh boy. I didn't bring Oranguru. <laughs> if we can get a Leech Seed off on the Chansey, Venusaur can wall it out. Because we'd just be getting so much health back from the Chansey, it wouldn't matter. I hope. We just don't have a lot of physical attackers. We do have him on top and stack attack, I guess. So we could have brought Oranguru for more guaranteed Trick Room Setter. But I don't know. Him on top, stack attack. Oh, we'll lead off for Uth. And my opponent using Togedemaru Metagross. Which I don't enjoy. Togedemaru is going to float in the air with the air balloon. And we do get the Intimidate off on the Togedemaru, but Metagross we do not. <sighs> like, I'd want to I want to switch him on top out, but I don't think it's worth it in the end of the day. Remember, kids, don't fake out the fake out user, especially if it's faster than you, so fake out on Metagross. And if Togedemaru fakes out him on top... Then Metagross, um, I mean, unless Metagross has Earthquake. Ooh, it might be Earthquake Metagross. I shouldn't have done that. I need to slow the f*** down, man, because it's Air Balloon Token tomorrow, so it's Earthquake Metagross, right? Fake out. On Stack Attack, okay, yeah, that works. We get the Fake Out off on the Metagross. Now, what did that Toga tomorrow do, man? Okay, I just wide guard now. Wide guard with him on top and set up the trick room here. And we can see if that Metagross, in fact, has Earthquake. Meteor Mash, okay. It's gonna hit Stack Attack, that's gonna fucking hurt because it's neutral. And we see the U turn into Stack Attack, which will do nothing. Interesting. I was about to close combat the token of armor there, so I'm kind of glad we didn't. I mean, I could have got some kind of damage off on these two. I could have close combat the Metagross instead. Mandibuzz comes out. I'm okay with that, because I can rock slide it. Because I'm going to trick room here. I think stack attack is going to unfortunately go down. But I'm going to close combat into the Metagross. And then we'll go for the mighty rock slide here, see what we can do. See if we can get some flinches. I just wanted Stack Attack to do something this battle, me. Man. Well, here's to hoping. He can still do something if he if he can pull out some flinches here. I don't think we KO the Met the Mandibuzz just because it's so bulky. And unfortunately, this stack attack is the, um, it's, it's not the mid, um, lower in defense natured stack attack, so we get the attack boost, it, we get defense boost every single time, no matter what. Does decent damage to that Metagross. Foul play, probably into stack attack. -a. Like, he's really worried about stack attack. -a. Miss! Fuck. I mean, shoot. <laughs> We're going to faint to that. And he gets the attack increase. I mean, that's fine. I, it's fine because stack attacker really wasn't going to do anything this match, so I'm curious as to why my opponent was so afraid of it. But now I just bring in Torkoal and Erupt. So stack attacker going down there is actually really helpful for us. So stack attacker, although not, like, and it, it put decent damage on the uh, Mandibuzz, which is good too, because... Actually, I'm going to faint with the Hitmon hop into Metagross and Erupt. So, like, Stack Attack is not doing um, work in the traditional sense, but it is paving the way for the rest of the team, which is huge. All right, Metagross is going to switch out. Oh, shit, I forgot about Politoed. As soon as it switched, I'm like, oh, yeah, he's got a Politoed, so that's what he's going to go for. So that's bad, because I'm misplaying like a mother folk. Alright, so faint into the Politoed does uh, does decent damage. Torkoal's gonna erupt here and do nothing. Mandibuzz is gonna snarl. Obviously it's going to snarl. Drop my Torkoal's force attack special attack step. 
I have leftovers on my hit mode top. And we don't have trick room anymore, which is also bad. I mean, we still have it, but we don't have a setter anymore, is what I'm trying to say. There's two more turns of it, so I'm going to close combat the Politoed. Am I going to do that? No, I'm going to close combat the uh, Mandibuzz instead. And switch Torkoal for Venusaur. Switch Torkoal for Venusaur. Because we've basically seen that that Metagross doesn't have Earthquake. And him on top's able to take on the Mandibuzz. If him on top lives this turn, I'd be really excited. Because that means we can use Intimidate on the, uh... He's gonna Scald him on top, which is gonna faint me. Oh, I fucking lived, but I do get burned. Now I'm pretty sure he just, um... Brings in... Metagross, right? Or possibly Token tomorrow for Fake Out support? Metagross. Um, I'm just worried about... Well, you know what? He could double protect here, right? I'm going to faint the Metagross and get a Leech Seed up on it. I think he double protects. Because it's Trick Room. Trick Room's ending this turn. Like, I was going to switch him on top out for a Torkoal and protect... But I, I don't think... I think he just... Okay, Politoed protects, for sure. I knew Politoed was going to be protecting. Does Metagross also protect? Yes. I mean, in the long run, I don't think it saves us. But <laughs> it does help a little bit. We do get the feint off. Does next to nothing. But because we're burned, uh, close combat wasn't going to be able to KO it if it didn't protect anyway. So that's why I went for that. We have to make some weird plays to get out of this one. Because of that Metagross. Bunch of Leechy recovery off of that Metagross. I like that. Twisted Dimensions are going to return to normal here. So, Scald Politoed into him on top and then headbutt the Venusaur. So I faint the Metagross. The reason I'm doing this, I get a little bit more damage off, so Leech Seed has less damage it has to do uh, to KO the Metagross. And if Togemaru comes in, I mean, it's not going to matter. But if Togemaru comes in, we do pop the Air Balloon. In the long run, I don't think that matters, but whatever. And then I have to protect with Venusaur here. Politoed's going to helping hand the Metagross, so I th think he's then headbutting my Venusaur. Faint into the Metagross. Does nothing. 1 HP, probably. Zen Headbutt into the Venusaur. So he's going all out into this Venusaur right now. Leftovers recovery on the Politoed. Ooh, that Leech Seed is doing so much damage. I'm going to close combat the Metagross this time and switch out my Venusaur for Torkoal. I think Venusaur is more important than Torkoal in this matchup. It does make the Togedemaru matchup a lot harder, but Torkoal should take his own head, but even a helping hand one. We do get rid of the rain, but I think Polito just attacks him on top here, unfortunately. Nope, helping hand! Can we take a helping hand and head, but or can you freaking miss it? Did he turn to him on top? No, he hit Torkoal. Torkoal, take this. Close combat to KO. Yep. Okay, Metagross is gone. Metagross is gone. Leftovers recovery on the hit on top. So hit on top is just p clutching it out here over here. Clutching out here over here. Okay, Toga tomorrow is going to come out. Cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap, mofo. 
And what do we got here? We have four turns of harsh sunlight. So I'm just going to chip on top out for Venusaur. And we're going to protect Torkoal here. Because I don't want to get faked out Scald, lose my Torkoal for no good reason. I mean, we're going to lose Torkoal because it's just slower than Politoed. That's just how that works. Mm, we might be able to do something here, actually. Because I get Venusaur in here. Presumably for free. Actually, he might just fake out him on top. Which is still fine. Torkoal protects. I, I thought I ate your button this year, but I don't. So I was like, oh no, where'd it go? Fake out into Venusaur. Oh, into Torkoal. Okay, I thought he was going to fake out him on top so it stopped doing dumb things. Okay, he scalded him on top this time. That's fine. Venusaur eats that, especially in the sun. And now, we looking clean, man. Because I can just Giga Drain this Politoed. And I'm going to switch Torkoal for him on top. This way we get a uh, Intimidate off onto the Toga tomorrow. And we're going to have to make our place like that. Just like that. Torkoal's going to switch for him on top. Him on top most likely goes down here. I wouldn't mind if it doesn't because it gives us fake out support for a turn. But Politoed probably protects, right? Nope, no protect from Politoed. Zing Zap from the Toga tomorrow though. Into the him on top, that's fine. I don't know what Politoed's going to want to do. Giga Drain is what it's going to want to do. My Venusaur is faster than Polito, which is helpful. Polito actually goes for Icy Wind, so now we're not. Now we're not faster. Which is less helpful. It's very strange that Polito won for that. Leftovers Recovery. I bring out the Torkoal. Torkoal. Uh, this turn, I Leech Seed the Toga tomorrow. I'm going to protect Oracle. I think Politoed either protects or attacks. Okay, it protects. I was going to say, it could attack my Torkoal here. So I guess I could have attacked with Torkoal. <sighs> it was a 50-50 on that Politoed, what it wanted to do. It doesn't really matter in the end of the day. Okay, Zing Zap from the Toga Tomorrow into Torkoal. We would have lived that. But now that this Toga Tomorrow's Leech Seed, it can't touch my Venusaur. So we're actually looking clean right now. Venusaur is going to wall it out again. I'm telling you, Mega Venusaur is so good in this meta. And once people start catching on to that, Tapu Fini is not going to be in the meta anymore. And it will be all Tapu Leles. All of them. Tapu Leles every day. I'm going to try the Double Protect on Torkoal because there's no way he gets out of this turn. Without it. Doesn't get it. Toga tomorrow zing zaps. Torkoal does live those. An icy wind should still be able to KO me. I lived. I could have gotten off another hit. I could have KO'd the Toga tomorrow here. But I do get a Giga Drain off on the Politoed, which is nice. Because that does a ton of damage. Enough to where another one KOs it. And the sunlight is unfortunately going to fade. Like, even in the sun, Skull's doing more than Icy Wind to a Torkoal. I don't know why my opponent was doing that. I guess just to get damage off on of Venusaur, but it's not doing anything to Venusaur because of Thick Fat. We do have more time than my opponent currently. I mean, I just continue to put uh, pressure on the... On the Politoed. Togemaru has Poison Jab. Interesting. Icy Wind missed. Ah, shit. Well, we could have protected with Torkoal there and had Torkoal for Togedemaru, but we've seen Togedemaru has Fake Out, it has Poison Jab, it has Zing Zap. My opponent forfeited. At least that better have been my opponent, not me. If that was me, I'll be rather upset. Because it's continuing to play out the turn, which usually means it's us, which I would be rather upset that we lost this one. Communicating. I didn't freeze, by the way. I'm just... Okay, it wasn't us. Whew. Okay, so we, we got... What was that? Two wins today? Did we get two wins today? I can't remember. I know we lost the first one. 
I mean, we got another win from that one person forfeiting. But yeah, Mega Venusaur is just, he's the man. And Stack Attack paves the way for the rest of the team, which I, it's not what I intended for Stack Attack to do, but it's working. I think once he has Life Orb, he'll be a lot better. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Again, if you want to try out the team, uh, it's in the description below. Uh, the pace bin is there for Showdown. Once I have Life Orb for Stack Attack, a QR code will be there. Um, and if you want to see a team builder, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Like and subscribe if you have not already. And stay sharp, everyone.